Welcome to episode 9, Saving and Loading Your Level. I'll give you a quick run through of the basic process and then go into more detail about what's actually going on. For this video I've created a brand new level and I'm going to save it for the first time. From within your level, press escape to enter the pause menu. It will automatically open on the save section, but if it hasn't then you can press the save button on the left. This pause menu gives you an overview of your save history. But for now, I just want to save, and to do that, I press this button here. Because this is my first time saving this level, I get a pop-up asking me to confirm the name, add a description for the level, and to add the player's objectives. With those details entered, I can confirm it by pressing this button. You'll see the loading animation spin, and when that's finished, new save data will appear in the list. We have now successfully saved the level. You might be wondering why there was already save data when we first entered the menu. Well, that would be because the level was actually saved for the first time automatically while in the vac tubes. All the saves are backed up online and instantly shared with all the other level owners. Each level has 10 save slots. Once you've hit the limit, the oldest save will be deleted. However, there are exceptions. Every owner is able to lock one of their save slots each. When a level is locked, it won't be deleted. Instead, the next oldest unlocked level is removed. Here's a more complex look at the save screen. All of the save slots are full up and there are multiple owners. I'm able to lock a save by pressing the lock outline icon. It will then change to a filled out version. And if I lock a different save data, this original one will unlock. As I mentioned before, you can only lock your own saves, which is why we don't have the option on some of these but we can see which save the other owners have locked, shown as this simplified version of the lock icon. When you publish your level, the system will lock that content as well. In this case, you will see this published banner. This lock cannot be unlocked and doesn't count towards that owner's locked limit. The game will automatically back up your level from time to time, and you may see it appear in the menu as a recovery save. It can be loaded into like any other save, but it cannot be locked and has no owner. The game will always load into your last manual save, but if the recovery save is more recent, you'll see a pop-up asking if you want to recover it instead. And keep in mind that when you publish the level, it will use the last manual save, not the recovery save. That covers saving the level to the cloud, but there is one more option in the pause menu called History. History is a short-term local save system. It only exists while you're editing the level, which just means that it starts when you load into the level and disappears when you leave the level. History will create a new save automatically every minute, as long as a user has made a change to the level. These history saves can then be loaded into at will, which essentially makes it an easy way to undo changes. For example, if you deleted a critical part of your level, you can just load back a few minutes and carry on as if it never happened. 